Hey guys, in this algebra video, we are gonna go over how to solve inequalities when there's variables on both sides. So this is gonna be a very similar process to solving equations with variables on both sides, all right? So first, we're trying to get the variable to one side, and in order to do that, we're gonna to have to do inverse operations. So we have two options here. I can get rid of that 3x by subtracting it from both sides, or I can get rid of that 4x by subtracting it from both sides. Either way is fine. I just like to try to avoid negatives when I can. So I'm going to subtract the 3x from both sides first, because if I subtracted the 4x from the 3x, I'd result in it, that would result in a negative value. All right. Now, when you subtract with variables, remember, you can only add or subtract when they are like terms. So I wasn't able to take that 3x away from the 2. It has to come away from a like term. So I'm doing 4x minus 3x. That's going to give me 1x or just x on its own. I'm going to bring down the plus 2. I'm going to bring down that greater than sign. 3x minus 3x is 0, so it cancels out. And then I have minus 6 to bring down over here. All right. So now I've got the variable on one side. I just don't have it isolated yet. So just like in an equation, once you get it to one side, now you're trying to get rid of all the other numbers that are around it. Okay. And in this case, we only have one other number that's around it, which is that positive two. So to get rid of it, we're going to do the inverse operation, which is minus two, minus two. And also similar to solving equations, whatever you do to one side, you have to do it to the other side, one time on each side. All right. And I'm going to bring down that X, which is going to be isolated because two minus two is zero. So it's gone is greater than negative six minus two is negative eight. Once that variable is isolated, that means you have reached your solution. So X is greater than negative eight is my solution. Now, when I graph this, I'm going to look for that negative eight on the number line. And now I have to make a decision of what type of circle to put on that negative eight. My inequality symbol does not have the or equal to. It's not that symbol, right? So because it doesn't have the or equal to, that means that negative eight is not part of the solution. And I'm going to show that by putting an open circle on negative eight. That shows me that negative eight is where my solution begins, but it's not part of that solution set. All right. And now what I want to shade is all the numbers that are greater than negative eight. So the numbers that are greater than negative eight are going to be to the right of negative eight. So I'm shading that whole number line. I'm going to shade an arrow at the end to show that there are infinitely more elements of this solution set, which includes all of the positive numbers, right? And that is how you solve and graph an inequality that has variables on both sides.